Are we ready? Nobody appears to be talking. I see we are ready. Oh, I can see. Others were coming, just arriving. So we can go? This is a, a statement uh, regarding uh, the proceedings which are going on in Parliament about uh, IABC commissioners. And we are saying that order must stop revenge mission against IABC commissioners. When the Supreme Court made this contemptuous ruling on the 2022 presidential election, we said we strongly disagreed but accepted it in the interest of furthering the rule of law, stability, and healing of our nation. Since we made the, that concession, the order administration has proceeded on a path of impunity, wish hunt, and revenge. Their target has been the institutions and individuals the regime thinks did not dance enough to its tunes during the campaigns. The regime has also targeted those it believes it cannot trust to dance to the order's tune in 2027 elections. The Directorate of Criminal Investigations and Mr. George Kinoti were among the first victims. Now, the regime has trained its guns on the, the four IABC commissioners that the Deputy Chairperson, Mr. Juliana Cherera, and Commissioners Francis Madenge, Irene Masit, and Justice Nyangaya expressed, expressed their reservations over the process that led to the declaration of William Ruto as president. A process whose outcome is predetermined is already underway at the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee of the National Assembly. And as you can see, we have just come from uh, the proceedings of that committee. The four commissioners are supposed to appear before the, this committee, be found guilty, and be made to appear before a tribunal to be set up by Mr. Ruto that will confirm their guilt. They will then be thrown out of the IEBC. This revenge mission of selective injustice is being streamrolled by none other than the speakers of the National Assembly and the Senate and Mr. William Ruto. This selective injustice against the four commissioners takes place despite the existence of other petitions seeking the removal of Wafula Chebukati, Abdi Gulie, and Boya Molu as commissioners of the IEBC. The criminal Ruto stooges at the IEBC are being protected and rewarded, while those who fought for integrity of our elections are being punished. A petition by Mr. Milton Nyakundi Oriku, dated 19th September 2022, against the three, that is Chebukati, Gulie, and Molu, was received at the main records unit of the Senate on the 28th of September 2022. To date, it has not been tabled before the Senate. Another petition, dated 17th October 2022, was received at the National Assembly's main records unit on the 25th of October 2022. 
To date, that petition has also not been brought before the National Assembly, even as the same institution begins to grill Mrs. Cherera and her colleagues. Since the conclusion of the 2022 election cycle, we have done our best to give Ruto time and space to heal and unite our land. We have given so much space that a section of Kenyans think we have given up the fight. Unfortunately, Ruto too seems to think that we have surrendered. Instead of healing the land, however, all we see is a leadership that is extremely keen to deepen and widen the bitter partisan divide that existed during the campaigns and even open new wounds. As the country faces monumental challenges, the leadership is consumed with exacting revenge and laying ground for stealing of elections in 2027. That is what the case against Terera and her team is about. The Muscatiers, that is Chebukati, Molu, and Guli have sworn not to hand over to Mrs. Cherera and her team. That is why there is a rush on the four commissioners to ensure Chebukati has no one to hand over to come January. The Ruta administration supports this conspiracy because it wants to pick a set of user-friendly commissioners to complete the capture of IBC for the 2027 elections and even the law reg the regulation that was agreed upon on how to select a panel that will interview and recommend the new commissioners is also being amended. We are witnessing a swift, steady and dangerous reemergence of capture of institutions by the executive. The judiciary was the first to willingly give in, a big in, a give in to Ruto. A struggle is underway at the IBC, pitting Chebukati and his team who have surrendered to UDA against those who want to ensure integrity of the institution. The capture is now being extended to our two houses of parliament. Swiftly, Kenyans are being turned into passive bystanders in their affairs with grave implications for our unity, our stability, and governance as a nation. The root administration is taking us back to the state of affairs uh, last witnessed in the Nyayo regime of the 1980s. This kind of impunity Selective injustice and capture of institutions will have grave consequences. We are here to sound a warning. No one should lie to this regime that we will sit back and watch a return of the Nyayo regime by another name. And I want to repeat, we want to warn this regime that we will not sit back and watch a return of the Nyayo regime by another name. If deepening and widening the divisions among Kenyans is what the Uda regime wants, we will only be too happy to help them along that path. The injustice being inflicted on the IBC commissioners, if it, it proceeds as kindly conceived, will mark the beginning of a massive push, pushback against the Ruto and those who think like him by the people of Kenya will openly and robustly lead that push, pushback. We call on our houses of parliament to be guarantors of the rule of law and justice in the country and stop being enablers of the constitutional revenge, revenge mission they have been deployed on against the four commissioners. The mission the National Assembly is on is actually unconstitutional. Article 250 
9 of our constitutional states, a member of a commission or the holder of an independent office is not liable for anything done in good faith in the performance of a function of that office. I don't repeat. A member of a commission or other holder of an independent office is not liable for anything done in good faith in the performance of a function of the office. Unquote. By summoning these commissioners, Parliament is usurping the role of a tribunal. They are trying to prejudice whatever tribunal could be formed. Parliament's role must be limited to summoning the petitioners and deciding whether the issues raised warrant the setting up of a tribunal. In any case, the conduct of the commission was part of the election petition. None of the commissioners was found to have committed any offense. Only Chebukati was found to have acted unilaterally. This probe is therefore politically motivated. It is a continuation of the witch hunt mission that Ruto is on. It will turn into a nasty partisan fight at a time we need to unify the country and tackle our problems. In fact, we advise, we advise the commissioners to boycott it in the interest of constitutionalism and rule of law. This country wants to move on. Uda must allow it to move on. With all the problems Kenyans are going through, a focus on punishing four commissioners who did not agree with their chairman is trivial, tri trivial vindictive, and vile. It must stop. It will not end well. End of the statement. Thank you. Now, I have with me here my other colleagues, and um, I want to invite them uh, to say a few words, because we are dealing with a very monumental issue, a matter of grave national importance. Where we are standing, we are standing on a precipice. And as I've mentioned in my statement, Kenyans will not take this lying down. Maybe you want to start with Professor. I thought the thing was so good, you didn't want anything. <laughs> uh, I really don't have much to add to what uh, His Excellency, uh, the Right Honorable Raila Odinga, has said, except um, uh, to say that um, what we witnessed today at JLAC is a microcosm of what the Uda regime is doing and is prepared to do in this country, which is to cannibalize and to destroy the institutions of democracy so that it can husband all power in this country. Um, I think this is just uh, the opening act of a very long play that they are putting in place. You've seen, uh, you know, what they have been doing in, with, with the uh, parliament, uh, trying to buy off uh, members of parliament and senators uh, to bring them to their side, to silence them, so that there is no oversight. But what we saw today was a, a slaughterhouse that is being prepared for the four commissioners who bravely stood for justice and for a free and fair election. Isn't it really ironic that the one person whom the Supreme Court found to be um, liable for offenses uh, in the election, Wafula Chebukati, the Supreme Court said this itself, is not a person who is being uh, investigated by this uh, co uh, Committee of Parliament it is the four commissioners who stood in the breach uh, at the hour of need for this country. Um, you know, so what we saw there is, is a sham. Uh, we saw a chairman who was, who was a script and who is an autopilot and who is determined uh, to conclude this process very quickly despite the objections of um, the members of the committee. 
Um, I should note that, um, in my view, the, the, the most important thing that happened there was were the objections raised by the lawyers uh, for the four commissioners, and principally um, the objection of jurisdiction that JLAC lacks the jurisdiction to uh, call those commissioners there um, to investigate them because it is not the proper forum for that particular purpose. Secondly, that the allegations that are made against them uh, cannot be interrogated because they are based on an affidavit that was uh, sworn by Mr. Chabukati. Mr. Chabukati himself is not available for cross-examination, and so that process would turn out to be a sham. Um, we've said before that, um, and we warned Kenyans ahead of the election, uh, that the UDA um, um, uh, party would, if elected, uh, seek to install a dictatorship in this country. And I think what we are seeing is simply a, a, a coming to fruition of that prediction that we made. But uh, as the Right Honorable Borrell Odinga said, um, Azimio is not going to permit this to happen. We are not going to lie down and let this happen to the people of this country. As we said, at a time of great national peril, when there is no food, when there is insecurity, when the economy is in a free fall, the thing that the Uda regime wants to do is to go on a witch hunt, uh, to investigate and to, 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 to persecute individuals who have uh, stood for democracy in this country. So with those few remarks, I simply want to say that uh, we are not going to relax. We are going to ask our supporters um, in the near future to stand with us uh, to stop this regime from carrying out these um, uh, dictatorial acts. Thank you so much. Very briefly, to remind William Ruto, he is acting outside of the law. The Commission Act clearly says six months to the end of the term of the chairman, a selection panel must be formed to start the journey of finding the new chair. Chebukati's term ends in January. And instead of forming a panel, William Ruto is busy trying to have the act amended so that he can have a selection panel that will create a commission after his own heart. The commission is for all Kenyans, not for one person. He must be compelled to move to appoint a selection panel. And Chebukati, Gulie, and Molu should already be on leave, on terminal leave. It should have started on the 1st of November. They is, insist on illegally presiding over a by-election in order to give us convoluted results, like they gave us convoluted results of the general election. We will not tire to remind Kenyans that if we drop our vigilance, we are in for a ruthless dictator than we have ever seen and than that has not been witnessed in this region. We are therefore saying time is up. Let's have a panel for selecting another three commissioners of the IABC and let the commissioners whose term is unexpired take over IABC. This witch hunt in Parliament is intended to prevent the four commissioners and especially the deputy chair from taking over as provided by the law. It is totally a travesty of justice. And once again, let Kenyans of goodwill stand together to stop this. And just if we were to accept their convoluted figures, may they remember that according to their figures, 6.9 million Kenyans do believe that the four commissioners who are a majority stood for what is right. 
and that the three commissioners led by Chepukati are the rogue commissioners who happily, whose term has ended, they should go home and let Kenyans move forward with commissioners selected from among people of integrity to lead this nation to the next phase. We want to encourage the four commissioners to act within the law. They are the majority. They should do what is right for this country. Thank you. Yes. In fact, I wanted to reserve my comments after listening to what uh, my colleagues here, led by Brother Raila, have said. But perhaps to summarize it, impunity, politically motivated persecution of the commissioners, And we've just come from County Hall. We sat there to observe the goings on of this JLAC committee. And it's very sad. When we left, they retreated to go and decide whether that that jurisdiction or not. You see people following a script. I once read a book, it was based in South Africa, and apartheid, the chief character was Kumalo. <laughs> Cry, my beloved country. Why in the world would we want to heap more hurt and despair to a population that is already reeling under the weight of drought <laughs> compounded by GMO politics GMO without any public participation and here I want to thank the Catholic Church for beginning to show leadership we're not going to kill our people through GMO and I think as Kenyans, we are very good at forgetting things very fast, but how do we forget about that which is going to kill us with cancer? We're going to Saratani. Kwa hivyo, mimi naona tu nisiongee zidi hayo. I don't like things that are politically motivated. And therefore impeachments, <laughs> Kenyans, remember. Politically motivated impeachment of the Senate, and this is what is being worked out. I want to urge the committee of JLAC to stand as a different committee, believing in the rule of law, fair justice, administrative justice, and we all belong in this country. In fact, the country is beginning to get together. But it looks like our friends want to take Kenyans back to the streets. Kenyans would have wanted a peaceful Christmas. But why are you doing this to our country? Cry, my beloved Kenya. Thank you.